Surfshark Windows app is now available on the Microsoft Store, Surfshark's browser extension is now Manifest version 3 compliant, and the macOS app makes some small changes. Let's discuss. As always, if you're looking for a VPN, remember to always check the first link in the description of our videos. There you'll find a coupon code called SharkTube, which will give you two extra months when buying Surfshark VPN. What's up guys and welcome to Surfshark Academy. If you want to get the latest Surfshark news, updates, discussion and coverage of the things happening in the cybersecurity and tech world, then you know what to do. Hit subscribe so you don't miss a single video. So let's begin with the first bit of news. Surfshark Windows app is now available to download on the official Microsoft Store. Now, the Microsoft Store had its fair share of criticism, but believe it or not, it has gotten a whole lot better since 2015, which is probably when most people first tried it and just said, no thank you. Well, Surfshark has received plenty of requests to put the app for download on the Microsoft Store. And honestly, I find that if this store ever gets more support from third parties, it could become the default way to download all of the apps on Windows, since it is so easy to use. Speaking of which, to install Surfshark through it, just type in Surfshark, then here just click install and you'll be able to use the app like usual. In terms of functionality, the app will work all the same, including things like updates. So yeah, definitely give this a try and let me know what you think. Hey, did you know that a couple years back Google released Manifest version 3? Well, I'll bet the answer is probably no because it wasn't exactly talked about too much. Manifest 3 is a new standard for Chromium based browser extensions that is bringing new enhancements to both security and privacy as well as overall performance. And this brings us back to Surfshark because Surfshark browser extension is now manifest version three compatible. Devs explain, quote, we have completely rewritten our extensions code base to be manifest three compliant. Our goal was to increase privacy and follow the highest standards proactively. This is a big win for all extension users as it should run a bit better now, but personally, I look at it as a win for privacy. Google said that starting in 2024, all extensions will have to to follow this standard, so that should mean that there will be less bad extensions overall. If you want to read more about Manifest 3, I'll leave a link in the description below to Google's document page that explains it the best. By the way, if you like our content, then chances are you'll probably want to subscribe to the Surfshark blog newsletter. With our blog newsletter, you'll get the latest Surfshark blog content like Tor versus VPN, or how to boost your VPN speed, or how to find if your passwords have leaked. And yes, it even has the product news news in written format, so if you are getting tired of seeing my face every month, you can read all the news instead. So definitely sign up, I'll leave a link in the description as always where you can enter your email and start getting the content every two weeks. Now, I know you're probably tired of me talking about Siri and Surfshark every other video. However, if you use Siri daily, then you'll find this update pretty useful. Essentially, you can now use voice commands to pause, connect, or disconnect from Surfshark VPN. I was intrigued, so I had to try it, even though I don't have an iPhone exactly. So here's how it went. Hey Siri, connect to Surfshark. Surfshark VPN is now connected. Hey Siri, disconnect from Surfshark. Surfshark VPN disconnected. So as you can see, it works just fine. And now that I've tried it, I have to admit, it's kind of cool. Besides that, this update also updated the status icon. If Surfshark is disconnected in the status bar, you'll now see a crossed out Surfshark logo. And if you're connected, the icon will be fully colored. Finally, the update also added a little bell to the main screen. With it, you can access the notification center. So if there's an update or a special exclusive deal of any kind or news, well, you'll probably find it there. Hey, did you know that over 4 billion people have experienced some kind of internet shutdown in 2022? Internet access can be disrupted by connection issues or other things like your router not working, but also can happen because your government is being a massive jerk. Internet shutdowns are becoming more and more common. And if you need a digital survival guide on what to do step by step, if you experience one, then the latest video on the Surfshark Explains channel is for you. We have made several several videos about this in the past, but never delved deeper on what to actually do if the situation ever happens. Definitely give this video a watch to be more aware and educated about the matter. And come on, subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't already. Currently, my colleague Victoria is on the road to a thousand subscribers and she's only less than a hundred subs away from reaching that goal. So 
please do show your support. Lastly, but certainly not least, if you checked any of the Surfshark apps, you might have noticed an additional tab in the locations list called dedicated IP. Yes, dedicated IP is in fact here, which I know was a huge request from many of you. So expect a video in the next few weeks to learn more details about this very exciting update. And that will conclude this Surfshark 2023 May update roundup video. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to check out more of our videos, especially this one right here about an old Surfshark app that has a really, really cool Easter egg. You're gonna love this video. Make sure to check it out. But that'll be all from me. Take care.